going to be making a couple of real short little videos today to address a couple of questions that I've gotten via uh, personal message the last couple of days. Uh, one, I'm getting a lot of people video uh, messages from people asking why I haven't made any videos in a couple of weeks, thinking something's wrong with me. Uh, I've just been out dealing with the real world for a while. Son's had some problems in school, had to deal with that. Uh, getting some legal stuff done, uh, finishing up an adoption, getting ready to go on a cruise. Just a bunch of stuff going on. So I've been busy with the real world. Uh, so I haven't had time to make any videos. Uh, now I'm back and I'm going to start making a couple here in the next few days. Uh, my first topic today is one that a lot of people have been talking about and I've been asked a couple questions about it and that is, should you ever sell a gun? Uh, a lot of people are like, never sell a gun, once you own a gun, keep it forever, you'll always regret selling it. Well, I am kind of the opposite of that. I have bought and sold so many guns. I have been through at last count probably 160 guns in the last uh, five years. Uh, I buy them, I sell them, I move on to something else. One thing people seem to forget is guns are, although they are beautiful, they're pieces of, uh, of, of art, uh, you know, I can greatly get into appreciating a gun just as a piece of art, uh, a mechanical piece of art. But in the end, they're tools. And let's say if I have three tack hammers but don't have a roofing hammer, I have no problem with selling a tack hammer to buy a roofing hammer. Because I need that roofing hammer more than I need three tack hammers. Uh, so. When you think of them and you remember that they're tools, there's no problem selling a tool to get another tool, especially if you're selling a gun to buy another gun, if you're moving up to something you prefer or something you need more. Now, if you're just selling it for the cash, now that's always a hard thing to do because then you're selling your gun and you get the cash, you spend the cash, and then you don't have the cash or the gun. But if you're selling a gun to buy another gun, there's never a problem with it, if you ask me. Now, I've sold some guns that are worth a fortune now, and I sold them for next to nothing because that's what they were worth at the time. But, you know, I had that money at the current market value at that time, so I don't feel that bad about it. Now, yeah, I wish I'd have held on to uh, every Python I've ever owned and every Colt I've ever owned, but I didn't, And uh, but I do have some that are valuable. So, like I say, they're tools. If you sell one and buy another one, no issue with it. Try to avoid having to sell them for cash, but, you know, every now and then we have to do that. I've had to sell guns for cash in the past before, too. When it's a transmission or a gun, you, so you need that transmission to get to work and you're going to lose the gun anyway. So, just kind of keep that mentality. Try to remember they're just tools. There's nothing spiritual about them. There's nothing, you know, nothing like that. It's just, if you want to sell a gun to buy another gun, great. If you need to sell a gun because you absolutely have to have the cash. If you got another gun, great. If you don't, you know, try to get another gun when you can. But uh, don't lose sleep over selling guns. You know, just make sure you do it legally, do everything the right way, and uh, it's not a big deal.